Okay, and welcome back. Uh, our next speaker is Eliza Lee. Eliza is a Sydney-based interaction designer and visual communicator, passionate about storytelling and creating new ways of generating and experiencing data. Uh, she's the creative director and business owner of Unstacked, which we will hear more about shortly. Um, and Alyssa is also keen on fostering emerging design talent and works as a lecturer in visual communication at University of Technology in Sydney, where among other projects, she initiated a subject with Google Sydney now in its 12th year. So please welcome Alyssa Lee to talk about Unstacked, curated by the people. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to start by acknowledging the original custodians of the land I am on, the Camaragal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to elders past, present and future. I'd also like to acknowledge all the speakers who have shared the insights with us today and the organisers of this conference. I'm really excited to talk to you this afternoon about Unstacked. Uh, it's an Australian real-time collection visualisation project co-created by myself, Elisa Lee and Adam Hinshaw. It's been a real privilege to have rolled out Unstacked at the State Libraries of New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria, a version for UTS Library, and most recently, the unique academic context of UNSW Library. Unstacked showcases collections locally and globally through the eyes of the people who use them. A real-time curation driven by patrons and staff, it visualises the heartbeat of a library, and in the case of UNSW, the heartbeat of the university as research activities across the institution are revealed. The project is called Unstacked because it presents in a visual form items which are physically or digitally coming from the stacks. What you're seeing here is three days worth of items viewed at the State Library of New South Wales. We have found many libraries face similar challenges around collection visibility and awareness, understanding of what the library is and does, and gaining insights on how patrons are using their collections. And Unstacked addresses these through an ongoing self-sustaining exhibition of collection usage created and curated entirely by the people who use it. When someone searches for something in the catalogue, it comes alive not only for that one person, but for everyone, exposing more of the collection to more people and allowing the library to see and respond in real time to the interests of their patrons. It also allows libraries to understand their audience better. Rollouts of Unstacked for the state libraries and the university sector have been quite different due to the unique nature of the collections and usage, but also because the story that each library has wanted to tell has been different. So I'll start by talking to the state library projects followed by UNSW Library. Unstacked reveals the diversity of your patrons' interests, which in turn highlights the diversity and richness of your collection. It provides exposure to collections in a time when only a small percentage can be on display, whether it be because they're born digital or because of space restrictions. And in a time when online access and discovery has become more important than ever due to the location or circumstances of your patrons. During lockdown with physical access to libraries restricted, it was exciting for staff and customers to see through Unstacked how valued and important their library was through continued and sometimes increased engagement with their collection. Each library is unique. Popular searches at uh, State Library Queensland are for convicts, portraits of soldiers and houses from the Corley collection. You will also see searches for the stunning Queenslander covers and cane toads and cake. With State Library of New South Wales, we have seen people searching for actors, war, and snuggle pot and cuddle pie. You can also see how people are impacted by days of historical significance. For example, on Anzac Day, or Australia Day, and as you can imagine, current events such as the pandemic. So what you've been seeing are all screenshots, screenshots of activity we happened upon, and each one is like a mini exhibition, knowingly 
or unknowingly curated by staff or clients. As Genevieve Bell said in the 2019 Alia Information Online Conference, we all remember taking the wrong way in the stacks and finding something gloriously unexpected. Unstacked allows everyone to wander through the stacks and experience this serendipitous discovery. When someone accesses a collection item from the online catalogue, it simply appears in Unstacked with a short delay of up to one minute. It animates on and items previously looked at shuffle further along. If an image is associated with the record, we show the image. If it doesn't have an image, we represent it through typography and colour. Because people access the collection primarily through web-based catalogues, search queries could be coming from anywhere, in the library, regional areas, or the other side of the world. Unstacked is a living, breathing representation of the library's clients and staff and their interaction with the collection. Sometimes there's a rush of movement when there is high activity and, other, and at other times a contemplative pause. A common query we have is around privacy. The data we use is data the institution already gathers through analytics and has no link to an individual. Unstacked is personalised to each institution's unique collection and identity. State Library of Victoria was keen to know, at a glance, the physical location of where items being accessed are stored. SLQ was interested in highlighting index records and being able to see if people were browsing at the library or elsewhere at a glance. So access whilst at the library is indicated by a symbolic page turn uh, on the top right of an item. These personalizations are useful for libraries to analyze audience and collection behavior in real time. When an item has no image, we use a color mapping to Dewey Decimal subjects designed by Chris Gall for the UTS library. For example, orange represents history and geography. Color mappings can be personalized to anything of relevance, such as subcollection, format, country of origin, or location of viewer. The clock on the left runs on the time belonging to the library. So if you look at Unstat from New York at 5 p.m., it will be showing what is happening in the morning at the library. No matter where you are, we want to be faithful to what is happening right now. You can select an item to reveal it in more detail and link back to its record on the catalogue, which is always our source of truth. The catalogue is where our metadata comes from. And as items are digitised, uh, they will just appear when they're accessed. You can also filter results. In, this, in the case of State Library Queensland, you can filter by published and unpublished, viewed at the library or not at the library, or items with images only. So these filters are particu particularly useful for exhibitions where you can have multiple perspectives of your collection being exhibited simultaneously without needing additional curatorial resources. Staff and patrons become accidental curators who through their own research inspire others to explore the collection. You can also mix results with a curated feed of items you'd like to feature. These may be recently ingested items or recently digitised items or items related to an exhibition. One of the libraries uses Unstacked as an exhibition tool uh, at events where related items from the collection are displayed mixed in with the real-time feed. Unstacked promotes conversation and highlights the collection and how people are using it. Patrons have been surprised and delighted by how dynamic and alive the library is, as the invisible is made visible and they are exposed to the richness and diversity of the collection through serendipitous experience of other people's research. Comments such as, I got married there, I had no idea the library had things like that, I searched for that and it's exciting to feel part of a community or show engagement with the public. 
At State Library of Victoria, this couple were surprised to see photos of where they used to live and went on to request the photos from the stacks, which they hadn't realised was a possibility. A rewarding result of installing Unstacked has been the reaction of staff and volunteers. At launch, it's, it's exciting to see the sense of pride and ownership as they experience in real time and on an ongoing basis just how valued and valuable their work is. UNSW Library in 2019 was moving print collections off-site to create more space for study and other activities. They were also activating their spaces through public art and exhibitions. There were problems in terms of how the library was understood and the library asked, what did it mean for collections not to be visible? Through a research project, they identified a need to broaden their users' understanding of what constitutes the library and a need to address the recurring sentiment, I don't go to the library. From these insights, they defined objectives for a visualisation, which were to give visibility to the digital library and expose online interaction, create an artwork as well as a clear communication piece, and to tell a story about the university and their users, and not just the story about the library and its collections. So at this stage, Unstack was engaged, and I'll now take you through the process. UNSW Library presented a unique opportunity to visualise the scope and use of an academic collection. The library has up to 28,000 views a day, predominantly of journals, characterised by their very long titles and showing this activity in real time on a macro and micro level was an exciting challenge. The initial mock-up shows the concept to represent views by discipline through shape and colour, interwoven with real-time statistics and narratives pulled from the data. An initial workshop with the core library working group consisting of Hero McDonald, Director Learning Services, Digital Innovation and Library Experience, Jackson Mann, Curator, Special Collections and Exhibitions, and Sue Harmer, Associate Director, Digital Experience and Innovation, determined the objectives, purpose, and technical integration of the project and helped to crystallise the story they wanted to tell. Subsequent workshops with students and staff helped refine the narratives to pull out from the data. A, st a statistic that we had was most popular item today and staff pointed out that it'd likely always be the same title mapped to the same discipline. They suggested that in addition, we include most popular item per discipline so that all students, no matter their faculty, could relate to this. It was such a natural and logical extension, but something we just didn't see being so close to the project. And it shows the importance and significance of collaboration and consultation at key stages of the creative process. It was vital that students could see themselves in Unstacked to feel connected to the library and the university. User testing allowed us to see if we were successful in achieving this. Through asking open-ended questions such as, uh, can you tell me what you think this is about? And how do you see yourself in this? We could check if we were on track. It took several rounds of tweaking language, such as changing catalogue to collection and library views to library items, before we were happy that all students, no matter their experience with libraries or their English proficiency, understood and connected with the visualisation. The views shown in Unstacked for UNSW Library are at the item level. So this is when someone accesses an item in the catalogue via a, a direct link or by selecting an item from search results. We then look this record up in the library's management system, reference its metadata and display this in Unstacked. In all rollouts, the library's management system is our source of truth. So any changes made here are automatically reflected in Unstacked. As what discipline an item belonged to wasn't available as metadata, the project required the creative genius of the library's technicians to create a mapping table. 
This then allowed Unstat to work with this information so crucial to the story the library wanted to tell. This graphic shows the logic to determine what discipline a view pertains to. The first three conditions are quite simple. The other conditions use a secondary lookup table shown on the next slide. A fair percentage of the items are determined by subject terms and it fluctuates, but around 15% of items are unmappable. UNSW Library has generously made their mapping public for other institutions to benefit from their learnings. I'll now take you through UNSW Library Unstacked. Um, what you're seeing on screen here is the public display at the entrance to the library. It's visible uh, even when the library is shut. Um, it is also a publicly available website um, and there are plans to display this in other areas of the university. So what you're looking at here is a screen recording of some uh, of UNSW Library Unstacked from earlier this afternoon. You can see the time up in the top right. Um, so it's a culmination of activity in the library over the course of the day and how the library is being used at any given moment. So we can see um, that a couple of items from business were just viewed and that the most viewed item today is PubMed. So when the little item, the little tile, which represents an individual view flies in, it gets ingested into the discipline, which then does a little bit of a dance to uh, celebrate that their tally has gone up one. Um, we show select titles as with you know, 28,000 views a day to show them, to show all the titles would be too busy, which is a really wonderful problem to have. Uh, in the background, there's a library stenographer who is recording every single item um, that has been viewed. Um, what you just saw then are the statistics that the library staff suggested we include, which is just a great idea, which is most viewed, viewed items today per discipline. So we have statistical narratives pulled out, uh, such as, you know, as just described, as well as select titles. And total items viewed this year, which should come up in a moment. By showing a running total of items viewed by discipline per day, we are in a way gamifying library usage with students being invested in how their discipline is tracking and seeing how that usage changes over the course of the day. I'd like to take you through some of the feedback since the project has launched. The choice to focus on the story of the university made it easy for people external to the library to engage with the visualization. So this tweet from the Dean of Law shows how people are invested in the discipline they belong to. It also highlights the value of the consultation with library staff who raised that showing the most viewed item per discipline would allow equal representation no matter how many views that discipline had. The future vision is to be able to drill down into each discipline such as law and show subcategories so that identification can be made even more granular. During NADOC week, the library was able to see in real time how this was impacting the community as the significant documentary by May and Newell in My Blood It Runs became the most viewed item. This real time feedback is valuable as they can see how the community is using the library and responding to events, which in turn allows them to respond. As an aside, unexpectedly, staff started searching for items with their names um, in the titles in the collection, waiting for them to appear and then taking selfies. Seeing the impact of Unstacked on the students and how this contrasted to feedback from the initial client experience research allowed the library to feel confident that the objectives behind Unstacked were being achieved. 
It was clear that students not only identified with their discipline, but that they also connected research activity to the library. Integral to our process is a scoping phase where in collaboration with you, the experts of your library, we look at technical integration with your systems and liaise with key staff to understand your library and to personalise Unstack to your unique collection and identity. After this phase, staff can have as much or as little involvement as they would like. No one knows your institution better than you do. And by working with you to understand the motivations behind your strategic objectives and goals and the day-to-day -day intricacies of your organisation, we relish the opportunity to draw out and share the rich stories you and your patrons have to tell. It doesn't matter how large or small your collection is, how many image resources it contains, if any, if you have 30,000 hits a day or less than 1,000, there's always a story to tell. And through this, you can build awareness of your organisation, showcase its value and help shape engagement by bringing your resources to the light and exposing what is available but which, might, which we might not see. It has been encouraging to see just how valued libraries have been during the pandemic. Whilst the doors may be shut at times, it is evident through seeing activity in Unstat that no matter what the challenge is, patrons are still very much engaged with the collections. It's clear that libraries are cherished and it's been a privilege to be part of this. I'd love to continue the discussion and look forward to any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Elisa. That, uh, that is a really fascinating project. Uh, I think I can echo some of that, that feedback that you've had when my colleagues and I saw this at, at ANU, we were, we were amazed with what you've done. And I'm really impressed with how you've adapted it for UNSW, the sort of special case. Um, I'm just wondering, I guess, from a, a technical point of view, you mentioned that you found some things were unmappable. Yeah. Um, what what is it that makes them unmappable? Is, is this sort of platform dependent? Or? No, um, you know, for that, I really would like to get the library technicians from UNSW to answer that. But um, basically they, they, they were like private investigators um, looking at the metadata attached to an item and then determining how it could be mapped to one of the disciplines, which roughly oh, correspond to faculties. So they just needed to make that connection there. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. so you, yeah. you, it can work with any type of library management system, any database? Yeah, we've proved it with um, quite a number of different library management systems. Um, as long as the metadata is there, um, we can you know, work with that. That's great. Thank you very much. No other questions that have come in. Um, so we'll move on to the next section. Thank you, Elisa. You're welcome.